first discovery of America was like for Christopher Columbus. Khrushchev was the first Russian imperial and the Soviet leader who visited this country. And State Department was responsible where he have to go to Los Angeles or New York. Will he visit Disneyland or not visit Disneyland? It was only one place when my father told, I want to go. I won't go to Iowa. That surprised everybody in Washington, D.C., because nobody of the foreign dignitaries want to go to Iowa. And they ask why? Because I have my friend there, Mr. Garst, and I want to visit him. Premier Khrushchev drives out to see Rossville Garst's farm on the morning of September the 23rd. The first stop is to see an experimental field of red and silver sorghum. This is a good crop for arid land. My father had seen Khrushchev tw on two occasions before he came to America, when my dad went on a delegation to Russia, and they were in tune because they both really wanted peace. I mean, Khrushchev, one can argue, but he, he certainly was talking peace, and he certainly was interested in growing more food. So here's something that these two people could agree on. Coon Rapids, Iowa, after the departure of Mr. Khrushchev for the conference with President Eisenhower at Camp David this weekend. I have never seen the man as relaxed as he was this afternoon on your farm. As a matter of fact, we've been with him all the way through from Washington. And today was the first day where he was truly expensive all the way. Yeah, I think it's only natural. And he got tired of seeing the VIPs and wanted to see some folks. And he found out perhaps that there were truck drivers, uh, all sorts of people in all walks of life here at the luncheon table with him today. That's right. He got to see a cross section of a small Iowa community. We had farmers here, we had townspeople here. We had uh, folks, uh, and this is what he enjoyed. With the modern agricultural techniques, it's my judgment now, and I'm, not, I'm supposed to be a little optimistic, but I'm one of the few people that know that this hunger can be forced from the face of the earth in a 10-year period if we take advantage of the things we know now work. Roswell's real motivation, I think, was having good agriculture worldwide because hungry people are dangerous people. And he was very concerned about world peace. Uh, you know, that we might read this Iron Curtain was more just than a cultural thing. It was scary for both sides. They have this personal positive feeling to each other. Of course, both of them understood that one of them prime minister, another was Americans, and he's businessman, and he not only your friend, but he want to make your business, but they were friends. On that level, that they can be friend between the American farmer and the Soviet Prime Minister. 